Okay, so welcome back. In our previous video, we have set up our error handler class. I have explained all this code, everything. Now, in this video, I'm going to create middleware uh, for the error. All right, so I'm going to create a new folder here with the name middlewares. Oops, middlewares. And in this folder, first of all, I'm going to create a new file here that is called errors.js. So first of all, let's import our error handler here because you have to use it later. But I don't just import it from dot dot slash the utils slash the error handler. Okay. Now let's first of all create here a function. So module dot exports. I'm going to use here error function that has four parameters: error, request response and the next parameter okay and in this function i'm simply going to type here err which is the error this one so err dot status code will be equal to err dot status code or 500 so this error contains the status code we know that we have to provide here the error error status code also okay so error dot status code will be equal to error dot status code and for example if this status code doesn't exist then 500 will be by default error code which means that internal server error all right so it will set the status code and after that we also have to set the uh, error message so simply type here err dot message equals to err dot message or internal server error simple as that and after setting up this we simply have to done it from here so as dot status code oops as dot status is going to be the um err dot status code dot json we will simply type here success to false because this is error then we have to pass here the uh, error itself so we type here error and err all right so if I simply save it, I simply go back to my app.js because this is middleware and we have to use it in our app.js. So I will simply type here, first of all import it. So const error middleware, uh, oops, I will simply require it from dot slash middlewares slash errors. Okay. and then after make sure that you add it after the route so I simply type here app dot use the error middleware and I get a comment here middleware to handle errors all right so now we have used it uh, in our app.js now let's check it out I simply go back to my uh, like uh, product controller and let's add here new error handler so first of all import it so cons error handler equals to require uh, dollar slash the utils uh, here it is utils slash the error handler and now if I simply go back here let me add it here so I simply return it from here. Return next, and we pass here new error handler, and that you have to pass two things. First of all, the message, so that is product not found, and then the status code that is four four. That's it. And now let's test it out. If I simply save it and i go back to my postman and click on shop it products get single product and if i click on send from here uh you will see that we get here product but if i change this five to six and click on send you can see that success falls and the error which contains status code we can also print here if we go back we can add here dot stack to print the complete error stack now if i go back and send it 
now you can see that we can have complete error stack so you can see that here error which is product not found at single and get single product uh, in this line 35 okay so now if i go back you can see that it is working properly it is handling our errors and now uh, it is displaying the error as it is but i want to separate my production errors and the development errors because when i am running the application in the development mode i want to display the complete error stack I want to display the complete error message and the error, error code. But when I am in production mode, this means that the, our normal user is using our application. A known programmer is using the application. So we simply have to display a proper message to user like product not found. We don't have to we don't have to display this complete error stack to the normal user. We simply have to display this message that is product not found. All right. So what I do is I simply separate my errors that if we are running our application in development mode, this means that we are developing the applications, the person is programmer. So we have to uh, get the access of uh, the complete error stack. But if it is running the production mode, then we only have to display the exact error message uh, like what is happening here, like what exactly is the error. All right. So I have also done that in my previous course, if you have taken that. But in my next video, I will add that functionality also. I will separate my production errors and development errors. And it is quite simple. Okay. So I hope that you understand what you have done in this video. So I will see you in the next video.